Hello and welcome once again to the hard Brexit scenario on Football Manager 2020 where the UK has left UEFA and left to fend for itself, creating its own Champions League and splitting up the, the Premier League and stuff like that. Well, it's time to have a look and see what has happened. It is the end of the league season and as is tradition throughout this season or series, of videos when we get to episode six we have a look and see who has won each of the leagues and we can find out which 85 teams are going to play in next season's brexit champions league so let's just go through all of these league tables uh, only the top divisions we're going to be looking at apart from the great london one because i want to see how late orient finished uh, but we'll also, uh, yeah, so it's only leagues in this one. We'll have a look at the Cups in the next edition, as is tradition. But first, we will start with the smaller nations who are part of the scenario. That is starting with Anguilla from the Caribbean. And we can see here that Ballers have retained their trophy. They won it last season, I believe. Yep, uh, and uh, with different runners up this time, Roaring Lions are the runners up this time, and Roaring Lions will be in the Empire League next season. Moving on to Bermuda, and we can see that the North Village Rams were champions this time out. PHC Zebras, for the first time, are not Bermudan Premier Division champions, on the, in the scenario anyway. We can see St David's Warriors relegated back to the second tier. In the British Virgin Islands, uh, we have an interesting uh, ending there. Uh, we'll have a look at the interesting bit in a minute. First, the Islanders, they won the title by nine points in the end, ahead of Sugar Boys. Sugar Boys taking, place, taking a place in the Empire League instead next season. However, relegation was decided by random, uh, because Rebels and Old Madrid had the exact same um, records when it when it comes to the deciders. Uh, so same points, same goal difference, same goal scored, and their head-to-head -head was equal. So uh, unfortunately, Old Madrid went down on random selection, uh, which meant Rebels got to stay up for the season. So well done to them. They just got promoted back into the division. I think there's only one other instance of that happening in this, um, but we'll quickly move over to the Cayman Islands before we see that. Or I thought we were. Let's, uh, let me try that again. Yeah, that's right, go to the right one this time. Uh, um, Academy have won the league there, uh, stopping Elite's domination of the Cayman Islands Premier League for after they've won it for the first two seasons. The third one was won by Academy, with Scholars taking the Empire League spot. Uh, next up, uh, we will look at Gibraltar. Uh, south of Spain, as we, uh, as you may know or may not know, and Europa have won it for the third season running, a good 19 points clear of Mons Kalp in second place. Mons Kalp qualifying for the Empire League for the first time, so there is a bit of a difference going around, uh, and uh, hopefully uh, they can make an impact in the Empire League next season. Uh, also, best of the rest in the split, St Joseph's. Uh, should they have not uh, finished in the bottom section would have been good enough for third, for fourth place. So uh, shows you how good the split is. But that was against all the rubbish shit, the, the teams at their level. Over to Montserrat, and we've got some playoffs to look at. But let's have a look at the final table first. In fact, let's do it properly and look at the final table in the big section, in the big way of looking at it. So qualifying for the playoffs were Police, MVO Tremors, FC St John's, and PC United in the semi-finals. PC United beat Police and FC St. John's won against MVO Tremors. And in the final, FC St. John's won 3-0 against PC United. And as you can see in red there, this is, I believe, the only other instance of two teams having identical records with Ideal and Elberton. But it doesn't really matter too much because they weren't even in a proper uh, finishing spot. They're, they, they're Finishing doesn't matter, there's no relegation, who cares? Finally, the Turks and Caicos Islands. Oh, clicked off it too quickly, my apologies. Uh, in the Turks and Caicos Islands Premier League, uh, this one is another one that goes to a playoff. The final table looks as follows with full physic coming top and also qualifying for the playoffs with Cheshire Hall, SWA Sharks, Beaches, Flamingo, and Academy Eagles. Academy Jaguar, the only team not making the playoffs. Uh, 
uh, in the quarterfinals. Academy Eagles beat SWA Sharks. Beaches beat Flamingo. Uh, in the semi-finals, the two winners of those matches went through to take on the runners-up in the third place. Or well, the winner at the first and second, which were Full Physic, who beat Academy Eagles. And Cheshire Hall, who lost to Beaches in the final. We can see that Full Physic won on penalties after a 1-1 draw. And it, that's the second time, I believe, they've won it in the three years we've been going. Uh, so, full physic back in the Brexit Champions League beaches, settling for the Empire League. British territories now, the ones that aren't, uh, don't have real leagues that can be put onto Championship Manager, you have to, I had to create them myself. So, winners of the Isle of Man League, Douglas Royal, they finished two points ahead of Laxey and Peel. Laxey finishing second and in the Empire League spot on goal difference, one goal being the difference. In the Guernsey Priol League, or pre League, I don't know how you pronounce that. Guernsey have won it for the third straight season, unbeaten this season. Five draws, so not 100%, but they were still 12 points clear of Savans in second. Uh, then if we move over to the Jersey Football Combination. This was, was pretty close come the end of it. Uh, St. Clement, St. Peter and St. Owen had two points se se separating the three of them and Jersey Bulls were only four points behind uh, St. Ewan there. St. Clement did it on goal difference ahead of St. Peter. Uh, so out of the three Saint, uh, out of the three Saints, St. Clement playing the Brexit Champions League, St. Peter playing in the Empire League, St. Ewan will uh, play for pride next season and try and win the title themselves. In the Pitcairn Islands uh, league table, Uino Island and Henderson Island uh, finished first and second out of the one group of four, uh, and they went on to the final. Uh, Uino Island winning 1-0, played at the Eagle Island Stadium in Chagos. Uh, so we've, we're seeing new stadiums being built for some of these uh, some of these smaller teams, so the Eagle Islands in, uh, in the Chagos Islands, uh, which is actually another part of the world entirely, uh, hosted that one in Akrotiri and Akelia. Oh, clicked on the headlines. Oh, blind, I'm going all wrong here. If we have a look and see what happened in the in Akrotiri and Dekelia, which are two army base, two British army bases and territories on Cyprus, uh, we can see here Group A was won by Cape Zevgari. Group B, Enclave United won it on goal difference. Their group, I mean, they went on to a playoff final. Uh, which saw Enclave United win 2-1 after extra time to win their title. Uh, that was played at the Pitcairn Island Stadium, another one of these new stadiums. So we're getting plenty of new stadiums getting built in the British British territories, which means that they might be able to host a tournament soon, properly. FC Lakers won the St. Helena, St. Helena Championship Shield for the third season running. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bell Boys uh, finishing one point behind them and uh, make their debut in uh, continental competition next season. In the Falkland Islands, another three in a row. This one's House Bashers. They've done it again. And I really want to see them play one of the big teams next season. Hopefully they'll draw someone like a Man City or a Chelsea or not a Chelsea. Uh, we'll see why soon. Uh, but uh, fingers crossed. Unfortunately, the Delhi couldn't uh, make it two in a row for them. They finished down in seventh instead. Malvina House Hotel will make their debut in the Empire League next season. In South Georgia Football Championship, Leaf Harbour have won their first uh, title. Uh, 45 points, nine points clear of Godful in second, who themselves, both teams making their debuts in uh, the Continental competitions next season. And finally, two more now. In, Brit in the British Antarctic Football Tournament, the Greens and the Reds finished in the playoff positions, uh, which then went to a playoff final, which saw the Reds beat the Greens on penalties to win their first real title. They, uh, they were installed as champions to start with so that we'd have a representative in the Brexit Champions League in the first season. But this time they've done it for real in the British Indian Ocean Champions Trophy. Uh, British Indian Ocean Territory Champions Trophy. Uh, this one is similar to Akrotiri and Dekelia. And this one saw Peros Banhos win Group A, while Nelson's Island won Group B. And they ended up in a final match at the TNM Turtle Stadium in Stanley uh, in the Falkland Islands. And Peros Banhos won the tournament for the second season running, uh, winning on penalties after a one all draw. Now... That's all of the territories. We've taken 10 minutes to go through those, so God knows how long it's going to take to go through the next ones. Northern Ireland. 
And we can see here in the County Antrim, Ballymena United have done it for a third season running. It was looking touch and go, and they did only finish one point ahead of Larne with 120 points compared to their 119. But instead, it's Larne taking second spot. Ballymena are in the Brexit Champions League once again. Carrick finishing third. All Saints Old Boys in fourth. Uh, and, uh, yes, and so on. Castle Star, Lantech, Old Boys, and Glebe Rangers all relegated to the second tier. In County Armagh, Glenavon have won it, I believe, for the third season running as well. Yep, yeah. uh, they have done it with 100 points and 100 goals, unbeaten. Portadown finishing second, Armagh third, uh, Luffle fourth, blah, blah, blah. Rich Hill and Hanover sent, uh, are sent down to the championship. Uh, in the County Down Premiership, Newry City AFC, another team doing three in a row in Northern Ireland. Uh, they were unbeaten this season and finished six points clear of Ards in second. Warren Point, a distant 12 points behind them. Uh, relegation for Ardglass, St. Field United and Portaferry. In County Fermanagh, no relegation there, but it's the same winner once again with Bellina Mallard United being the premier team in the county. And... Uh, winning the title by some distance, only dropping points in one game all season. Lisbelo United are second, and they take the Empire League spot. Ennis Kellen Rovers third, and so on, and so on. In the county, Londonderry, Coleraine, they've won their one for the third season running, uh, with a 14-point gap between them and second place Institute. Limavady United are third, Moyola Park fourth, Port Stewart fifth, relegation for 15th and 16th, which were Ardstraw and BBOB. Who, which stands for BBOB Londonderry, uh, Londonderry. Don't know what the BBOB actually stands for, but I'm no doubt the OB is for old boys. In County Tyrone, Dungan and Swifts. Is that a three in a row for them as well? Yeah. In Northern Ireland, it seems quite predictable. Another unbeaten season for them. A massive gap between them and Derbview in second, uh, who only finished one point ahead of Cookstown Youth. 15th and 16th, again, relegation spots for those ones, which are Cookstown Olympic and Tummery Athletic. In the Belfast Premiership, Linfield. It's not three in a row there, though, I don't, uh, because Glen Torren won it in the first season. It's two in a row instead for probably the best team in Northern Ireland, unless... Uh, in this game, Ballymena United really are that good. Uh, they finished 10 points ahead of Crusaders, who themselves finished 4 points ahead of Glen Torren. You had Cliftonville in 4th, H&W Welders in 5th, and, and then and so on and whatnot. Relegated were Albert Foundry, Brantwood, PSNI, and Ballysillan. And that is all of the top divisions. Over to Wales now. And see how the Premier Divisions are in that division, in that in that country. So in the top division, Wrexham. Oh, excuse me, that was my elbow whacking a door. My apologies. Uh, so in that one, Wrexham were champions. It was looking touch and go between them and Connors Key last time we checked, but unfortunately, it's the same team that's won it for a third season running. Connors Key lost the pace and ended up finishing 13 points behind. Uh, Wrexham, but they did finish second, which means they get to be in the Brexit champ. No, nope, the Empire League next season. Colwyn Bay were third, Clondudno fourth, Seven Dudes fifth, Real sixth, Airbus seventh. Second place last season, Ruffin were eighth, and uh, relegated were Brickfield Corwin and Clondudno Junction. Junction. I'm mispronouncing everything today. My apologies. In Dyfed, Aberrerun have done two in a row. An impressive season for them. 11 points clear of Clinically Town in second. Their, that, I believe, was their set, their first runners-up position, which means it's their first time. Oh, no, they were they were in the original Empire League, but their first real entry into the Empire League. Carmarthen finished third. Uh, former champions Penrincock down in seventh. So not a good season for them. Uh, Fofrastol. Oh, Fostrasol, sorry, uh, Mickenclef and Clan Ristud, all relegated to the second tier. Uh, Dyfed apparently is not one I'm good at pronouncing, so uh, not good for me. Um, I'm not going oh to look at the relegated team in this one. Uh, Newport County, they were already champions, I believe, when we last checked. They finished 34 points clear ahead of Undy, who were second, uh, who have regained second spot after losing it last season. Relegation for... Crossaliog, uh, Crossisaliog, I don't know, my apologies for anyone from that town, and Malpas City Civil Service, while in Gwynedd, Bangor City were champions there, I believe they're, that's their third title in a row, uh, Bala in second, uh, relegation for Clanberis, Clanrust and Barmouth and Diffrin. 
Mid Glamorgan, Merthyr Town have won it again, and, and they've won a 100% record as well. Uh, so a decent gap between them and Pennybont in second. Pennybont, I believe that's their first runners-up, so that means they will be, uh, other than the initial season, that's their first actual earned uh, spot in the Empire League. Uh, we also have Sporting Marvel's Perth Kellin and Gar SBGC relegated to the second tier. In Poes, Newtown have won the league. Uh, they are... Only six points clear of Gillsfield in second. Uh, Clanada finished third, ninth and fourth, but there's a massive gap between those three teams. Uh, in 17th, Berryu, 18th, Newbridge John White, 19th, Radnor, 20th, Clan Sansfred, and those four teams are relegated. South Glamorgan, Cardiff, 100% record, 104, 130 goals scored, 102 points gained. They won it with ease. Barrytown United finishing second, and then a massive gap between them and third. Sully and Cardiff Airport will be in the second tier next season. West Glamorgan, Swansea City are champions. They didn't get a 100% record. They dropped points uh, in in their third, third to last game, Pontador. Uh, nabbing a point off them, uh, but they still won the title with ease, with a almost, um, possibly 40 point gap, now I can't, I can't be asked to work it out right now, ahead of Neath in second, uh, so Neath will be in the Empire League next season. Relegation for Trefellin, BGC, West End Rangers and Garden Village, and that is the last of the Welsh top tiers, over to Scotland now, and who has qualified for the Brexit Champions League and Empire League in these leagues? So, in the Angus Premiership, Dundee have qualified uh, for the Brexit Champions League, winning the Angus Premiership by six points ahead of local rivals and literal neighbours. The stadiums are next to each other, uh, Dundee United. Uh, then four points, they were four points clear of our Broth, and then Montrose and Forfar and Brecon City uh, all, all follow each other. Kiri Thistle, Castle AFC and Forfar Albion are relegated to the second tier. In, Airship, in the Ayrshire Premiership, Kilmarnock are top 20 points ahead of Air United. Uh, so no surprises there. Kilmarnock taking their third title in a row. Uh, then relegation for Ardeer Thistle and Kill winning Rangers. Central Scotland. We have new champions in Central Scotland though. As Alora Athletic, they've had so many decent runs in the in the Empire League, it's now their turn to go in the Champions League. They have won the Central Scotland Premiership by one point ahead of Falkirk, and that was all down to Falkirk losing one extra match and Aloha getting one extra point in a in like not losing one extra match and what whatnot. Four teams finishing with under a hundred points or more. Uh, Stenhouseman and Sterling both finishing on a hundred points, uh, which and then a good. 18 point gap between them and Sorchi in fifth. Uh, no relegation there. Uh, Neither is there in Dumfries and Galloway, where Queen of the South have done it for the third year running. They finished nine points clear of second place Stanra and third place Anan Athletic. Stanra, oh dear, I'm having a bad day pronunciation wise today. In Fife, Dunfermline have won it for the third season running there as well. East Fife finishing six points behind them, both of them finishing with 100 points or over though. Rafe were two points behind them, and then Kelty Hearts. Uh, were heading up the best of the rest. Cowden Beef in a disappointing sixth. Uh, Glasgow, the big one in Scotland, and as predicted, Celtic did eventually overtake everyone else and win the league, only dropping points in one match, and that was a nil-nil draw with Rangers. Although in the other match, uh, Rangers were beaten 2-0, which gave Celtic the title in the end. Dunfermline were the best of the rest, finishing 10 points behind Rangers, uh, two points ahead of Partick Thistle in fourth, and Queen's Park did eventually overtake BSC Glasgow, uh, but they still did well, in my opinion anyway. Grampian, Aberdeen won that one with ease, as expected, finishing 18 points clear of Peterhead. Uh, Cove Rangers dropped behind Peterhead in the end, uh, meaning Peterhead are in the Brexit Champions League, are in the Empire League next season. Elgin City behind Cove, and relegation for Fraserburgh United, Dever inside, and Hall Russell United. In the Highlands and Islands, Ross County won the title on goal difference ahead of Inverness, Caledonia, and Fissel, with both teams finishing on the same records points wise. Uh, the two teams beat each other, but in the end, it was only six goals that separated the teams. Raw Rangers were the best of the rest on 89 points. Relegation for Sleaf and Struff, Orkney, and, and Fortrose. 
Lanarkshire. Motherwell did it again, three points ahead of Hamilton. It was quite close in the end. Hamilton could have won the title, uh, but they didn't, unfortunately. Airdrie United on 100 points as well, and a good 16 points clear of Clyde. Uh, Shots BA and Gott Cairn were the teams relegated from this division in Lothian. Hibernian won their title back after losing it to Hearts last season. Uh, they finished five points clear of their city rivals. Uh, Livingston in third place, Edinburgh City in fourth. Arniston, Ormiston and Craig Royston, the free stones, all relegated to the championship for next season. Perthshire, St Johnston had wrapped this up before we'd even... Uh, finished the last episode uh, so we already knew who were going to be champions 108 points in the end uh, and I believe it's 41 points clear of Kinool in second uh, so Kinool is that their first time in as runner? no they were the original runners up which means they, so they get their second shot at Empire League Glory which will probably end in uh, bottom of the group or second from bottom if they're in a uh, one of the other groups. I don't know. They're not going to go through, though, I imagine. Uh, the uh, This is probably one of the last ones to finish, uh, the Renfrewshire Premiership, because they have a playoff to play. Uh, so St Mirren finished top, Morton finished second, Clyde Bank and Arfley were the other teams in the playoffs. Uh, that playoff went as follows, with the semi-finals being Morton beating Clyde Bank and St Mirren beating Arfley. And then in the final, St Mirren won against Morton after extra time to take the title. Uh, Played at the Energy Czech Stadium in Firhill, Glasgow. Finally, in Scottish Borders Premiership, Gala Ferry Dean Rovers are your champions for the second season running, uh, beating Vale of Leven by one point. Uh, and uh, meaning Vale of Leven have to settle for the Empire League for the second season in a row. Uh, maybe one day they will get their title back. But the today is not that day. Instead, Gala Ferry Dean Rovers can celebrate for one more season. Finally, over to England to find out the last 40 entrants into next season's Brexit Champions League. Uh, there's a few obvious ones, starting with this one. This one was a fairly obvious one, Luton. Uh, they finished top of the Bedfordshire Premier Division, 106 points, 16 points clear of Leighton Town, who I believe finished second last season, so it's... Oh no, they didn't. It's their first runners-up position. They were third last season. Barton Rovers missing out on a Continental Ch Championship spot for the first time. Uh, Luton top. Biggleswade Town finishing a respectable third, three points behind Leighton Town. Uh, well, behind Leighton. Reading, champions of Berkshire. We knew that most of the season. In fact, uh, you can't really fail when you won every single match. Uh, they scored 105 goals, only conceded five. Uh, they bought well in the summer, to be fair. Uh, Maidenhead finishing second, a good distance between them and Hungerford in third. Bristol and Gloucestershire. Bristol City, they did it again, losing one game, drawing a few. Uh, obviously not a perfect season because they've got actual rivals in their league. Uh, Bristol Rovers finishing second for the second season running. Uh, they There was a seven point gap between them uh, and then Forest Green took third spot for the second season running so they're not gonna they've not been able to recapture their, their first season form just yet. Relegated from Mangotsfield Town. Is it Mangotsfield Town? Mangotsfield United my apologies and Harrow Hill. Buckinghamshire this one was a close one, but in the end, MK Dons were the champions once again. Uh, one point ahead of Wickham Wanderers after, uh, well, Wickham couldn't beat MK Dons, and that is just how it ended, it is the reason why. Uh, Beaconsfield were the best of the rest, but a massive distance between them and second place. In Cambridgeshire, uh, this one was closer than you thought for second place, but Peterborough won it fairly easily, uh, although it was only a four-point gap in the end. But the t the story is Peterborough North Star there, finishing on 89 points, only four points behind Cambridge United. We could have had an upset in second place. We could have had our first unexpected team uh, making a continental com competition. But we didn't. Cambridge came second. Uh, and so we have another season of normalcy. Could it be next season? You never know. In Cheshire. Crew Alexandra are your champions. They finished one point ahead of Macclesfield Town, who were 14 points clear of Chester. Uh, relegated were Widnes and Winsford. Cornwall, Truro did it again. Three years in a row for them and a 29-point uh, gap between them and Bodmin Town, who take second spot for the second season running. Cumbria, Barrow are the team to beat in Cumbria now. They won the Cumbria Premier Division by 12 points. 
un- unexpectedly. I, I, I didn't expect Carlisle to fall back so far, but it's been like this all season. And just to confirm, I think we know why. And that is because Tim Sherwood is still Carlisle manager. <laughs> so they're probably not going to get any success anytime soon. Ha! Um, Derbyshire. Derby won it. 13 or 12 points clear. Uh, Chesterfield in second. Alfredton Town were the best of the rest, uh, who finished a decent amount be- be- ahead of Mickelover. Uh, New Mills and Graham St. Prims were relegated. Devon. Plymouth were champions, only dropping points in three games all season. They took uh, well, they took a seven-point lead over Torquay United. X to missing out on the top two for the first season, I believe. Uh, yeah, no, they <laughs> it's the same. It finished the same last season. I'm just uh, assuming X to are better than Torquay, which apparently they're not. Tiverton have fallen b- a- a further back a lot more than they did last season. There's a massive gap between them and Exeter. Dorset, Bournemouth, 100% record. Yep, 78 points. Yep, 10 points clear of Weymouth in second, who had a decent run in the Empire League, so I imagine they're going to buy well this season and try and have an even better one this time. Paul finishing the best of the rest on goal of one point ahead of Dorchester. Durham, we have a new champion for the first time, uh, with Darlington taking top spot uh, ahead of Hartlepool by two points and it's all very close uh, between those two they're like there's a few losses it's not just um, one where they beat each other there's there's other teams getting in there too Spennymore only finished four points behind Hart- Hartlepool and Stockton only finished five points behind Spennymore uh, so it could be anything next season it could be between all four of those teams uh, but moving on Essex uh, and it's the same winner there, though. South End, they are they finished with a 10-point lead over Colchester United. Billericay, they did fall behind. They were leading at the top, but they in the end, they had to settle for third place. Uh, four points behind Colchester. Witham, Brightling, C and Harlow were the teams going down. Greater London, and this one was touch and go, but for the third season running, we have a new champion. As Arsenal, this time, are the Greater London Premier Division champions and go to the Brexit Champions League, which means Chelsea have to settle for the Empire League this time. Uh, Arsenal, in the end, finishing two points clear of Chelsea. They did both beat each other, I believe, Uh, but unfortunately, Chelsea's draws with Crystal Palace and Spurs... uh, were enough to stop them from taking the title. West Ham were third on 74, Fulham fourth on 65, Crystal Palace fifth, and Spurs a disappointing sixth place for the original Greater London champions. Uh, 62 points for them. They're on they're on equal points with Brentford. Uh, Barnet, Hazen, Yedding, and Sun- Sutton are going down, which means only one of the promoted teams has been relegated, which is Hazen, Yedding, Dulwich, Hamlet, and Bromley both surviving. Uh, So well done to them. Greater Manchester, Man City have finally done it. They've finally overcome their noisy neighbours, or their quiet neighbours. Man City are the noisy ones. Uh, They've finally done it. 87 points to 85 in the end, uh, meaning Man City, for the first time, are Greater Manchester Premier Division champions, which which is quite surprising when it's been going for three years. Uh, Staley Bridge Celtic, Hyde and Afton Collieries uh, were the teams relegated. And, just to confirm, Bolton Wanderers were the best of the rest. Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. Southampton only dropped points in one game all season. And that was a loss to uh, arch-rivals Portsmouth. Five points they, le- they they won the league by. And then Portsmouth finished six points ahead of Eastleigh. Uh, uh, Aldershot were the next team. Shoaling and Fleet will be playing in the championship next season. Herefordshire, this one had been decided before we'd even played the last one, um, or before we'd done the last video. But Hereford, as we know, were champions. They turns out they finished at 46 points clear at the top. Uh, and then it's very close between the other three teams. Uh, 24 points, 22 points, 20 points respectively for Westfields in second, Ulyas Harold in third, Pegasus Juniors in fourth. Hertfordshire, Watford, uh, they won it 10 points clear. They only lost, They only dropped points in one game all season. That was a draw with Stevenage. Stevenage finishing second uh, with a massive gap between them and Boreham Wood, who were the best of the rest. Hartford, FC Romania and Ware are the teams going down in Hertfordshire, while in Kent, Gillingham once again 
reign supreme there, 19 points ahead of Ebsfleet United in second, and then Dover in third, a point further back. Lordswood, Chatham, and Rain Rainsgate. What am I saying? Ramsgate <laughs> are the teams relegated. In Lancashire, Burnley, they pretty much. Uh, were champions ages ago. We knew they were going to win it. It was second place was the real story. So Burnley tops it by 20 points. But then Blackburn uh, have taken the runners-up position. Three points clear of Preston in third. Uh, and then it's another three points between them and Blackpool. Uh, and then Fleetwood were fifth on 60. Cole and Nelson uh, demoted, relegated. Call it what you will. Leicester City, obviously they were going to be champions in Leicestershire and Rutland. None of the other teams are ready to... Uh, challenged them just yet. They finished with a 100% record and a 28-point uh, gap uh, from Barwell in second, who, who finished second for the second season running, uh, meaning they get another shot at the Empire League and another 50 million. Let's not forget that part of, of it. Uh, Farley, the Worth, St Andrews and Havern are the teams relegated there. Lincolnshire, Lincoln City, uh, they were unbeaten all season, 104 points, and a decent gap between them and second place Grimsby. Uh, Scunthorpe having to settle for third place, five points behind Grimsby. Stanford and Skegness are the teams playing in the second tier next season. Here is a first. Everton, for the first time, have overtaken Liverpool to win the Merseyside Premier Division. Uh, so uh, it turns out losing Virgil van Dijk does cost you the title. Uh, so well done to Evan. Uh, unfortunately, me, a Liverpool fan, I have to uh, settle for them coming second. Um, but uh, well done to Evan. Uh, Tranmere were the best of the rest with 76 points. Six points clear of Southport and uh, Marine, the best of the teams that you don't expect to come in the top four. Next, Norfolk and uh, the usual winner there. Norfolk winning, or North Norwich winning uh, with uh, a 13 point. 23-point lead over Galston Town, who I believe have uh, finished second for the first time. And they take uh, their Empire League bow next season. Well, they make their Empire League bow next season. Uh, Nor Northampton won the Northamptonshire Premier Division. Uh, not surprising there. Nine points clear in the end, ahead of Brackley Town. Uh, and they had a massive gap between them and third place AFC Russian and Diamonds. Stuart and Lo Stuarts and Lloyds Corby and Brackley Town Saints relegation for them unfortunately Northumberland Tweedmouth have regained their Northumberland Premier Division title they won it in the first season lost it last season but they've got it back and Blythe Spartans are your runners up but a massive gap between first and second there former champions Morpeth, Morpeth having second settle with uh, third place this is a terrible day for recording me isn't it um, just getting everything wrong Nottinghamshire, Mansfield Town have broken Nottingham Forest's monopoly of Premier Division titles. Uh, they finished on equal points, and Mansfield won it by one goal on goal difference. 74 goal difference to Nottingham Forest, 73. Not Notts County only finished three points behind them, and then Basford best of the rest, massive distance there. Clifton and Teversal relegated. Oxfordshire, Oxford United were your winners. 100% record, 12 points ahead of second place Oxford City. Fame United in third. What about in Shropshire? Shrewsbury have taken it for the third season running. They had a six-point gap between them and second place TNS, who I think have finished second for the first time. Uh, no, they finished second in the first season. I'm just getting my facts wrong. Uh, and this is why I should check it before I go, uh, before I start recording. AFC Telford took third. Hochman, if that's how you pronounce it, is the best of the rest. Somerset, Yeovil have their third win in a row. Uh, 13, no, 12 points clear of Poulton Rovers, who take their second runners-up spot in a row. No, Bath won it last season. Their second runners-up position in general. Wellington and Keensham are the relegated teams there. Staffordshire, a third win in a row for Stoke City. Uh, they had no problems this time. Winning every single match, 120 points, 140 goal difference, uh, six points clear of Burton Albion, who lost two games all season themselves, uh, and they were clearly against Stoke, 2-1 both times. Port Vale also finishing over 100 points, with 106 points, um, but not even enough to get them second space. Um, Tamworth finishing with the best points out of the other teams. 
Suffolk, Ipswich, we already knew they were champions last time round. Uh, they finished with a 100% record, and at least they finished on time this time. Uh, last season, we had to wait until mid-June for this division to finish. Berry Town finishing second, five points clear of AFC Sudbury. Uh, is that their first time? Yep, the first time they've finished second, so they get a maiden Empire League run. Could be a good one. Probably won't be. In Surrey, Woking, they've won theirs for the third season running. Uh, massive gap between them and Dorking Wanderers in second. Dorking finishing second uh, for the third season running or second season running? Second season running. Stains with the original runners-up. Uh, they finished fourth. Alfold, Badshot, Badshot Lear, Redhill and Finley Green relegated to the championship. Sussex, Brighton had a 100% record. Did Alexandra Lacazette get top goal scorer? He did get top goal scorer. Oh, went too far. He scored 22 goals in 25 games. Uh, to see him take top goal scorer, that's not surprising, considering he is like the best striker in this league. Crawley, second, 10 points behind Brighton, with Peacehaven and Telscombe, Haywards Heath and Billingshurst all relegated. Tyne and Ware, Newcastle United champions again. Uh, only dropping points in one game all season long, uh, which was a draw with uh, North Shields. So well done to North Shields, getting taking a point off the champions. Sunderland was second, 10 points ahead of Gateshead. Then it was both the Shields and Hebburn. Warwickshire, Stratford have done it again. Nine point gap between them and Leamington, who have who are runners-up for the first time. Nuneaton Borough dropping down to third this season. Uh, but once again, Stratford are the team taking back the big money and taking the Brexit Champions League spot. West Midlands, we have a third different winner in three years. Uh, and one of those rare ones, like in Greater London, we have Aston Villa taking the title this time. They finished with 109 points, which was eight points ahead of Wolverhampton Wanderers with 101. West Bromwich Albion finished on 98 uh, Birmingham 97, Coventry 87, and then Walsall, and then the non-league team, Solihull Moore, the best of those. Well, technically, they're, they're almost league themselves, so Rushall, the best of the non-league teams. Smethwick, Coventry, Corpswood, and Chelmsley have been relegated. Ooh, gone back to uh, gone back to Warwickshire. In Wiltshire, uh, Swindon won the title with ease. Wasn't a 100% record, wasn't unbeaten. Who did they lose to in the end? Laverstock and Ford, down in sixth. Uh, so maybe they're... Their window is cracking at the top. 103 points for them. A 17-point uh, gap between them and Salisbury in second. Worcestershire. Kidderminster have won it again. Uh, same with Swindon. Their, their, their window is starting to crack. Their shield is starting to crack at the top, more like. Uh, and uh, Redditch could be ready to cash in next time, uh, even though there is a 18-point uh, gap between them. Finally, Yorkshire. Huddersfield Town have another team that have broken a monopoly. They have taken Leeds' title. Leeds won it the first two seasons. Huddersfield did it this time, and they did it on goals scored. They finished both on... Uh, them and Sheffield United finished both on 94 points, both on 66 goal difference, but Sh Huddersfield scored three more goals to win the title. Leeds, the reigning champions, finished in third, with Hull in fourth, Barnsley fifth, Sheffield Wednesday sixth, and Middlesbrough, who are doing quite well at the start of the season, they dropped down to seventh, which, again, a disappointing one for them. Relegation for Scarborough Athletic, Whitby, Mask, and Frickley. I'm going to check one more division before we go, and that's the Greater London Championship, just to see how Leighton Orient did in the end. We, we knew they were guaranteed playoffs, I believe. Uh, Met Police are back up. Uh, so we get to follow them next season. They did it at Plough Lane, which is open again now. Uh, but what about in the table? Um, they won it. They were champions with 107 points, two points clear of Kingstonian, who finished second. Uh, they were both promoted automatically with Met Police winning the playoffs, which means the, the three teams that went down are going straight back up. Uh, and that, that will do. Uh, so until the next time, where we look at all the cup winners, and as is tradition... If there's any goals in the final, we will show you all the goals from the Brexit Champions League final. We'll also see what uh, who's won the Euro European Cup competitions as well. Uh, so until then, like, subscribe, and uh, seeing as I'm getting everything wrong today, schmoll on!